This is the full view. Welcome back. While smaller parties were furious this past week at the coalition's government dialogue that took place in Cape Town, spearheaded by Deputy President Paul Mashadile, some even staging walkouts and others basically calling the whole exercise an expensive talk shop designed to keep the ANC in power in the upcoming national elections. Asanda Nwashen, a political analyst, joins us for more analysis. Asanda, a very good evening to you. What did you make of the proceedings this past week and all the developments that took place at the sitting? I think that, you know, I have been calling for the need for a national dialogue on coalition governments. So I was very happy to see it finally happen. And I think it's important that it was led by government. I think we needed to see a more sort of forthright um, indication that it was also held by the IEC because the IEC is the seat or the organization that is tasked with our democracy and with ensuring that our democracy moves and with ensuring that any changes to the democracy that we have legally have been considered by people within this particular institution. Mm. Uh, I think that, you know, it's not surprising that certain political parties were unhappy with uh, what was said and what was happening there. But this is the nature of politics. I don't see it necessarily as an attempt to keep the ANC in power, but I see it rather as a recognition that, you know, the will of the people has to be the one that is prioritized. And if the people, whether we like it or not, if the people vote in the majority for the ANC, even if it's below you know, the 50%, we would still need to see their voice represented as per the will of the people. Mm. And the best way that opposition parties can get their, their will and their mandate to be majority is by going out and canvassing and actually getting the votes. Because what I'm seeing is political parties that seem to think that, uh, you know, coalition governments could be a part of governance without actually having to do the tough work of canvassing for vote and the tough work of convincing people to vote for them in overwhelming majority. Mm, but Asanda, I mean, speaking of representations, are the parties then justified in their discontent with Park Style telling them basically that a blueprint was already drafted and would be handed to Parliament the following week well ahead of them being briefed? I think that, you know, it's an important uh, kind of question mark that they've put there, but this is the nature of, of politics. So, number one, the ANC does have the lead currently they are in government, right, by virtue of votes. So that's why I said whether we like it or not, they are the sitting government. And so this is literally the job to be able to make legislation, to be able to put forward their thoughts and ideas first and to go and get those contested in an in a con conversation like that dialogue and to further go and get those tested and contested in parliament. The role of the opposition once again in parliament is to push back against those things which they disagree with and to agree with the things to which they agree with. And I want to reiterate again that opposition parties in South Africa seem to think that coalition governments are the back door through which they are going to govern. There is no such thing. You need to canvass for votes and you need to, you know, compel, be compelling to voters so that they vote for you. You need to be out there convincing as many South Africans as possible to go out and actually vote if you want to dispose of the ANC. It's not going to happen through multi-party politics and I think it's important that we do have guidelines and we do have rules in place that ensure that a 1% party isn't suddenly running, you know, a, a government where people in the majority have, haven't voted for them. Mm, uh, well, interestingly enough, uh, Asanda, I mean, we saw leaders of the DA who have in recent weeks been on record saying that they are considering ways of going into a coalition with the ANC, flatly denying this stance after the event and other parties also claiming that this was just an exercise for the two parties to just keep the EFF away from, gov from, from the governing seat. Your views? I, mean, I think it's, it's, it's all of these accusations are interesting because this is you've got the DA which put forward a moonshot pact, which frankly was a big failure. And now that the ANC is doing exactly what they were doing and what they were calling for, they don't like it and are accusing the ANC of uh, trying to hijack 
I could argue the same that, you know, the DA wanted to have a coalition, wanted to have a partnership, because they are the sitting government in the Western Cape. They are also a sitting government, much like the ANC is a sitting government at Nashville, the DA is a sitting government in the Western Cape. And they have just as much to lose and just as much to gain by leading this conversation as the ANC. And so it's always fascinating to me when they speak as if they are a neutral party. They are not a neutral party. They are a sitting government just like the ANC. And what we need in South Africa is for them as a sitting government in the Western Cape and the sitting government at national level together with civil society and all the political parties and other people interested in the political system to come and have a conversation, which is what this dialogue is about. And fortunately, our parliamentary systems allow them to make a submission if they feel there's anything missing from this conversation and if they feel there's anything that's coming out of the framework that the ANC has said is going to put forward, they must use the processes that are available to them legally and have always been available to them. To me, it's just a case of an organization that isn't happy that, you know, it seems like most of the people who are involved in politics were much happier to be part of this dialogue than their failed moonshot pact, um, you know, suggestion. All right, we're going to leave it there. Asanda, thank you so much for your contribution. A political analyst, Asanda Nguasheng, weighing in on the national dialogue on coalition governments that took place in Cape Town this week.